All right, guys, yeah, we chose them. All right, we're going to Yapoon, North Queensland. We've got a possible sighting from um, from Stony Creek in the Byfield National Park. So these guys have gone down here at night. Um, they parked their car here. Obviously, this has happened in 1980, and there was no, like, you could just park wherever you want it, so they parked here somewhere. And um, we'll get into that story in a sec. They're in a HQ Holden, and a Yowie lifted it up and dropped it. So we'll get to that story in a sec. But if anyone else has had any signs from here, let us know. Send them in, guys. All right, we'll just go back here. We'll just go back to this one. So I haven't been out for a while, but I went down here to the Kalagi Bar on Sunday. Kalag Kalagira Bar. And um, so what had happened was I'd seen that um, Dean from Yowie Hunters had he posted a little video showing him and Wade and who was the other person? Oh, what's his name? I'll get the other guy's name. Hang on. Anyway, it'll come to me in a sec. <laughs> anyway, they went down here with a guy that um uh, had a sighting. Him and his missus had a sighting here. So they were just walking up here. They were following the creek. Um, they went off track. Maybe to get around the creeks because I walked the creeks. Um, so they might have went off track just to get around the creeks. And I think that's when they've come across this yowie, all right? So that's why I went down there. I've made a few videos, probably five videos of it. You can watch it. I didn't see any yowies, didn't see any good. All I'm doing is just filming the creek. So there's, there's a few more videos coming of that, guys. If you're keen to watch that, you never know. There could be something in the bush. You don't know, all right? Um. So, yeah, that's... And then in the meantime, a guy contacted me. I, you know what? I've actually, I've actually been down this street a long, long time ago. Because I used to just drive around looking for new areas to search. Anyway, when I did drive down that area, I'm pretty sure that when I went there, there was kids. I don't like going anywhere where there's kids. And especially if you've got a camera, it just looks weird if you're by yourself. So I never went there. And then old mate sent me a, um, a story saying that his friends before the land down there got subdivided. He'd, um, his friends had seen the owies there. Husband and wife have both seen the owies. So obviously they've seen them a fair bit by the sounds of it. And he goes, they used to run up into those hills. So behind this, behind that street there, there's all hills, right? And that's pretty bloody steep too, let me tell you. So if he's listening, and I know he watches, so um, just just message me at Yowie Chaser. Email me at yowiesightingsaustraliahotmail.com. Well, you can even message here if you want to everyone to see what you want to write um just just what what else you know about that place i know you told me some other things i haven't mentioned those other things yet about what's on that land behind there um i don't know how you find those things but there is other stuff happening there so yeah that land actually there's one part on this land that can actually run into Kanungra army base and it's funny because in this, I think in this video I mentioned that I find it, I'm pretty sure in this video I mentioned that I found another place on the way. All right, which is the place where these yowies can run into, okay? So in this video, I'm pretty sure, I, I don't know if it's this one or the second one. I so I found another place where it, no one really goes looking for yowies. Because it's probably on, it probably is the army land, but they don't use it. I know for a fact they don't use it. It's just impossible to get to. But these guys here probably shoot up into that land. And there's one spot. They've got to cross a main road, but it's not a busy road at night. And they'll be straight in the, into the army base. So they probably come down here because there's heaps of farms. There's probably heaps of stuff from there. Munch on, cats, dogs, horses, pigeons, chickens, sheep, goats. They probably run around this area. And then they head back into the, um, back into the military area where they're safe. Anyway, it's it's another place that's worth checking out. All right, so now this video here, guys, if you don't know, this is the Yowie News. I want to try and get every week, I want to try and get some info, some good info that people know. can be anything. 
and then we'll do a video on that so even if there's any sightings if anyone knows anyone that's just had a sighting or you know they know what someone's up to send it into the, the yowie news and then we will we'll release it well i haven't got any yet so that's not going good <laughs> all right now this one here was sent in to me by a guy so he's the guy that sent this in his dad <laughs> told him this story right so his dad was driving along this highway near this is new byron bay um and he jumped he seen a gallery run across the road jump a 16 foot fence all right now if it's is this fence someone said this is perspex i thought it was wire it's actually perspex glass which is good because i don't know if you guys know but if you always touch that stuff they will leave finger marks on that perspex okay and you can't wipe it off. Even if you wipe it off, it'll stay there. It'll smear. You won't be able to wipe it off for ages. So people say it's the same. So you know when babies are born, they're born with like a white substance all around them. When you always touch perspex, they leave that same white substance, guys. All right. So maybe someone could go for a walk along here and check it. Or is there any other um, fences like you know those sound barrier walls? I don't know. That are along that highway i can't remember I've, I've been up and down it a few times but i just i just can't remember so that's why i'm just assuming this was the place this might not be the place but it's the only place i could find i just had a quick look that's got fences but like i said it could be those wooden um sound barrier fences all right now here look at this new way to share your sightings right so what i want to do is just say someone's got a sighting they want to write it out just message me it's all in the description. Send me your phone number, I'll ring you, and I'll record the phone call. I'll record everything you got to say about your sighting, and then we'll play you talking on YouTube, okay? That's if you want to do it. We'll have a heap of questions that we're going to ask you. Um, so we get all the information, and then maybe at the end, if there's anything that's missed out or things that we want to ask more about, we'll ask at the end. But we'll just let you talk blah 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 go from there and i think it will be good because it is better to hear people's yaoi stories coming from people that have seen them i agree 100 percent. that's the way to do it because they used to me doing it because for starters i can't read and write <laughs> so, so it's just better to get it from someone else all right let's go on to this bloody um video i think i got everything out i want to tell you so yeah anyway guys there's still some more videos of these so if you see me post them up you'll know why all right there's all right, I just had to cut it off. If this thing buffers, right? If it buffers, I've got to pause it because it, it doesn't save the video. And I've got to start again. I've already done this one three times. All right, so this is where the guys were parked up. He sent me a, a picture of an arrow saying here. He was camped here. So let's get into this story. Oh, God, I've hang on. All right, so hi, everyone. Been following this page. I just want to share a story that happened to me back in the 80s. I lived in Yapoon, North Queensland. One hot night, three of my mates and myself decided to go for a drive up the Stony Creek in the Byfield National Park for a swim. Ross, my mate, was driving a HQ Holden sedan. We drove into Stony Creek. It was around midnight. Driving to the first day area, we drove around with the high beam on. No one was in there, in the camping area. We then drove down across the creek causeway to the other side. Done the same thing, drove around with the car. Nobody was in their camping area and it was very dark still night. No one was there. We parked in the middle of the car park. Now, don't judge us. Boys were going to have a few bongs, lol. The interior light was on and we all just were chatting and waiting for my mate to chop up. All right, guys, so here's the good thing. They weren't stoned yet, okay? Not that it would have... I wish they were stoned when it happened. It would have been a funnier story. They <laughs> would have <really> freaked. <laughs> we could not see anything outside as it was too dark. At that moment, something lifted the back of the car. I swear the wheels nearly come off the ground, then pushed down on the boot of the car that hard that he bottomed it out at least three times in quick succession. 
rushed out of the car, put the hair lights on and just done a big donut in the middle of the car park and we couldn't see nothing. Whatever it was took off behind us in the bush. We kept driving all the way back to Yapoon. The next afternoon we all met up and talked about what had happened. We even tried to lift and bounce the HQ up and down with two in the back seat. Two of us tried to bounce it, but nothing like what had happened that night. Whatever it was was so strong to lift and bottom the car out. It scared the living hell out of us, and whatever it was, I never ever went back to Stony Creek at night. Aha, I know something was there in the Byfield National Park. It's pretty remote. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, man. That would have been a pretty freaky story. Thanks for sharing it to me. I really wish you guys were stuck. That would have been even funnier. That would have been hilarious. You guys would have really shit though. No. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, man. Let's have a look at this area. It's crazy. So, yeah, I, I scanned out before when I did this. I'm not going to do it because it ended the video. And I had to start it again. So this is the third time I've done this bloody video. But, yeah, I scanned right out. This area is crazy. It goes for, there's nothing here. Look, there's a couple of ridge lines. So they were here somewhere, guys. Something's bounced the HQ up. Like, we've heard this story humpteen million times. People that have gone, you know, the places to do naughty stuff in the back seat of the car. And something's come and bounced them up and down. Um, so, yeah, it, it was probably definitely, yeah, it's happening in bloody Hens Dam. Happened at the Wadigon, Sugarloaf Mountains, Campbell, Mount Campbell down Sydney, uh, Wollongong. Where else have I heard of it? There's been a few places. They're just ones off the top of my head where I've heard that story where they bounce the cars. So, what they're up to, who bloody knows, man. Eh? Why, why they want you gone? Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's breeding season. Sometimes they don't. They don't. They don't show you themselves. You know what I mean? So, um. So obviously, there's a reason they didn't want you there. And they know by shaking the car, you're going to go. So obviously, the family's in the area. Um, maybe that's why there was no one else in the car park as, as well. Maybe they've all been had their caravans or camper vans shaken and all got the hell out of there as well. It should have been a sign. This is not a good place to be tonight. I don't know. <laughs> anyway... Anyway, if anyone's ever, if anyone's had any sightings and that from there, let us know, guys. You know, I'd like to hear if there's some more. I don't think, I don't, I'm pretty sure I've had none from there. Right? I can't remember. Could have. All right, guys. That's all we got. All right. I'd like to hear if anyone's had any or any any sighting, guys. Any signs you get, just just message them through. However you want to do it. Like I said, all the ways to contact me are in the description of the video, guys. Alright, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you.